Hey guys, Rob from Robbie Raj Review Cigar Federation here at IPCPR 2013. The waning, <laughs> the waning moments of IPCPR 2013. We're punchy. Yeah, yeah. we're punchy. We're punchy. We're punchy. Logan Lawler and the man. You guys all know this guy, right? Gary, thank you for taking the time in. No problem, bro. We appreciate it. Yeah, happy to. Happy to. And I'm actually, this wasn't really planned. I'm smoking the Series H. Awesome. What do you think? I like that. This is really nice. It's got a nice flavor. It's mild. Yeah, mild, mild plus. Mildest thing I have right now. Yeah, it's uh, it's kind of unique Sumatra wrapper and the Connecticut butter. Yeah, it's very good, very good. But let's get back to the show. I mean, this the House of Emilio area we've got back here has been completely bumping all week. I mean, it's it's amazing. The buzz, even when we're out at night at the bars drinking whatever, you can overhear people talking about it. So, how's it been going? It's been going awesome. I'm, yeah, I'm really happy. I mean. You know, I couldn't have asked for any better than this. It's been busy from the, the minute we opened the first day till we still got people people here now while we're trying to pack up. So yeah. it's it's pretty gratifying. Yeah. So they're all coming back to see Logan. Yeah, well, pretty much. I mean, I'm a he's, he's the sexiest blogger. I got my man to this. Yeah. <laughs> Another T-shirt, the sexiest blogger, the sexiest blogger, the sexiest blogger, blogger ever. Made. It's it awesome. So I'm bringing sexy blog. I'm bringing sexy blogging back. Anyways, get back in on top. Yeah, right. So you know, Gary, you know, a little bit different. You know, you have obviously, you know, your own, your your, your brand, and then you've obviously brought a lot of people into the house of Emilio. I mean, how does the feeling to see, you know, people you brought like Ezra Zion, you know, Fred Rui we just talked to. How does it feel to see them? You know, the traffic and the buzz they're getting. I mean, how does it feel? Oh, I'm excited for it because that's what I really hope for was that we'd be able to, to collectively attract more people and be attractive to more people than you know we could individually. Right. Um, and that was the whole concept, was to bring what I felt were really, really good boutique cigar brands all together in a cooperative effort. You've noticed it's cooperative. It's not, it's, it's not me running around saying, you're doing this with your, your thing. I mean, everybody has their, maintains their identity. Right. It's just that we're all together in one place, and we make it easy. You know, we, we, we just, you know, a retailer that wants to get into boutiques or a guy that wants to expand his boutique selection can come to one place, get eight, you know, well-vetted, highly rated boutique cigars all in one place and know that they only got to call one sales rep True. and it's done. So it's, it's pretty cool. Yeah, that's great. And that, that house is expanding, as always. I mean, we tweeted some stuff out yesterday, so I mean, I'm sure you guys have seen all that. So well, it's, yeah. It's, yeah, it's, it's really, it's, well, it's going to expand further. Continually expand. Yeah, um, it's on the move. I'm looking to do, to add another, depending on the, the quality of the brand, how well or how good a fit they are with the whole scheme, um, probably two to three new brands per year going forward. So that, uh, but you know, they got to have a lot of things going on. First off, they got to have good sticks and good prices. Um, they got to be able to, there's got to be that synergy. You know, they got to fit yeah. with all the rest of us. You know, I can't have a guy that walks in here and thinks he's, you know, King Shit, Mr. Ego, I can do whatever I want. Hell you wrong. Yeah, you like wrong. Yeah. Um, no, you know what I mean. I mean, it's got to be a good fit for all of us. Um, and they, you know how we do things. They got, they got to have social media capacity. I talked to a, a brand a couple of days ago who was interested in coming on board. And I got to be honest, they're just not going to be a fit because they got no social media presence whatsoever. They have no clue how to do it. They have no willingness to learn how to do it. So, you know, there's got to be the whole package. And that's how we're going to make this successful, I think, is, is that collectively, we just exponentially increase our reach with each new thing we add. So that, that's kind of the, the idea. It's cool, man. It's very, very cool. And, you know, one thing I'll say is now that I've got to kind of meet everyone in the house with Amelia, it's an eclectic bunch. Yeah, it's like yeah. a bunch of sailors. Yeah, it's a pretty eclectic <laughs> bunch. Yeah, you know, and and, uh, and and you know, they all have their latitude. They do, they do whatever they want. Obviously, at the end of the day, on certain things, I make the final decision. But, you know, by and large, everybody just does their thing, right. their way. But you, you've seen it over the last several days. You know, there's nobody with ego. There's nobody saying, well, I'm writing my orders and help with the rest of you. It, it's all like, you know, look, okay, you got that. This other guy over here, he has something that I think might fit for you as well. And 
we just, you know, carefully help each other out and, yeah. and really make it work. It's true. Yeah, it's it's, a good, I'll tell you, and man, it's, it's been a great feeling to see it. Feels, I mean, those it's a, it's a good dynamic. It feels like a family. Yeah, yeah. it really is. It it's does. family. So the, I mean, the name, the house of Look, you've seen it. I, I give everybody a hug and grab their ass sure. every it does. morning and every night. And I kiss the top of your head. Yes, absolutely. You did kiss the top of my head. Well, you know, that's because the last time Dora bought me hair hair grease, it was the wrong kind. I can't tell her that. She'll stab me in the neck. She'll know now. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, tell us a little bit about, you know, kind of alluded to it, kind of the newest cigar for you that's coming out. Well, it's not new, kind of what we're talking about, but the Mia, I want to set it on the Mia Dora. Mia Dora? Yeah. All right, so real quick summary. You know, last year I met this, this beautiful lady that I went to high school with that I never knew in high school. Really? And she is just like the most incredible thing I've ever had. And so, while she was with me in Nicaragua, Abdel and I started working on um, a blend that kind of mirrored her characteristics, all the things I love most about her. And uh, you know me, I'm a fan of real utilitarian packaging. You know, I'd, I'd rather just make really good cigars, utilitarian packaging, get them on the shelf, good prices for the retailer to move them. But I'm going to go a little overboard. Really? The I, I can see now. You know why? Because you're in love, buddy. <laughs> You love. You can see. You should see your face, Gary. It's awesome. But so, that's why I love the passion, man. Yeah, it's awesome. yeah. So, so you know, we really carefully match the cigar uh, to, to you know what I think is, is most beautiful and wonderful about her. And uh, I'm going to go a little overboard on the packaging and finally have something pretty that hopefully none of those goddamn bloggers will bitch about. Hey, it's fucking ass. Bitch about any oh, stuff. I just dropped an F. Yeah. That might be my first one ever. Your first F ever? On the show, yeah. You oh, said I, it. Fuck. I did. I can't believe it. You uh, passed. I know. I need, to, I need I, to go stand in the I don't corner. know if you're ever engaged or anything like that, but could you imagine a ring inside the box and say, hey, I want to give you the first box? Yeah, there Boom. you go. Yeah, that, that, if you, that, 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 she, but she was stabbing me. <laughs> She's a love-hate relationship. Yes. You know, prone to next stabbing. No, no, she's, she's real, really, really wonderful. It's but awesome. You know, you got Mia Dora coming, which I, I'm just, you know, delighted to do. The new Drake Cayacero shipping in a couple weeks. Uh, Brazilian art that I can wrap. A little different than anything I've ever done. Uh, the next La Musa, the Aoi Day, will begin shipping in a few weeks. Uh, the next uh, blend in the Los Regalos line is uh, in final stages of blending. Uh, it's just the Carpe Noctum is going to release before the end of the year, which will be the strongest cigar I ever did. How do you think it goes straight? You just got to spend a lot of time in Nicaragua and speak horrible Spanish and hope that they understand what you're saying. Wow. wow. So you really don't sleep? No, I actually do sleep, but I, but, but you know, you know, half hour at a time. Like, yeah. Well, just a little quick cat nap. No, cat nap, and then you're getting it. after it again. That's that's amazing, man. With all that, everything that you guys are doing, and you got all that stuff coming out. That's amazing. Yeah, it's, it's good. It's impressive. It's good. Impressive. So what else? I mean, I don't think we could do a better interview than this. Yeah. I this is look, it. I appreciate everything you guys do for the industry as a whole. Because I know you know, there's a lot of other people out there that even aren't part of the house of Emilio that, that need help getting their feet on the ground. I love to see the guys that are as passionate as me. I don't care if they're part of us or not. You know, as long as they're as passionate as me and they love this business and the people in it as much as I do, God bless them all. And, and you know, let's fight the fight. And I hope everybody's successful. Yeah. On that. That's it. That's perfect. Well done. Thanks, guys. Right. We appreciate it. Thanks, I guys. I love you. I love you, Gary. <laughs> IPCPR yeah, 2013. Out. Thanks, guys.